Welcome to lesson three in this section of how to get started with Excel. Once again, I am Amaka Ifebonando, your instructor. In this lesson, we'll be looking at formula bar and name box. The formula bar is right in this section of our workbook. And the formula bar helps to display the cell contents. Presently, the active cell is an empty cell. That's why nothing is being displayed in the formula bar. If we select a cell that contains a text, let's select this. You see that the text is displayed, which is sales. That's the content in the active cell right now. If you select a cell that has a number in it, it displays that number. We see we can see the cell content of the active cell right in the formula bar. If you select a date, it displays the date in the cell that is selected. So you can see that if it is a text, it displays it as text. If it is a date, it displays it as date. If it is a number, it displays it as number. So the formula bar displays the content in the active cell part time. When it comes to a cell that contains formula, it's quite different. The formula bar picks the formula behind that cell and not the result that the formula produces. Now we have our total, which is here, and we use a sum formula to arrive at this total, summing the entire figure in this column. So when you select the cell now, you can see for yourself, the formula bar displays the formula behind that cell. What we can see here is 87,000. But on the formula bar, we are seeing the formula behind that cell. So that is the difference. For date, it displays date. For text, it displays text. For number, it displays number. But when it comes to formula, it displays the formula. Right. So that's it for the formula bar. Now, the name box. The name box is right in this side um, section of our workbook. What the name box does is that it displays the cell reference of the active cell. The cell reference is like the name of that cell, just like it's, it's, it's saying name box. So if I select the cell, what the um, name box does is that it displays the cell reference. And the cell reference is a combination of the column and the row. So you see that the active cell is on column C and row 7. So that's why it has C7. So for every cell that is active, the name box displays the cell reference while the formula um, bar displays the cell content. So that's the difference. So know that the name box displays the cell reference of that cell. So I know the, cell, the active cell is B8 and the content in that cell is the light supermarket. I select this. I know the active cell is A9 and the cell content is a date. I select this. I know that the active cell is E14 and there is a formula in that cell. I believe you now understand uh, formula bar and name box feature in a workbook. This brings us to the end of this lesson. See you in the next lesson.